you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Hello Internet. Greetings. Hi, hello. Thank you that you for us on Kairat Vandag. Folk, I've got a terrific story for you today. Yeah, yeah. On the other hand, van hierdie uh, camera sit vier mense wat ons mee gaan gesels. Andrew Whitaker, he's the facilitator there on that side. And the story that's going to come out here today, some of you may be aware of the name of Harpia Ferreira. Wounded in battle, left for dead. And it was only during the mop-up of the uh, after the battle that somebody realized that uh, this body lying here was not actually dead shot with a 14.5 uh, anti-aircraft ak -ak cannon scary stuff folk 100 operations later i'm going to let them tell the story welcome here Thank you for joining us, and please listen to this message. Thanks, Andrew, for arranging this and facilitating it. Thank you very, very much. I've been piping up now and leaving it over to you guys. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, my, my part in the story is um, I was in the Battle of Smokeshell or Operation Skeptic with HP on the 10th of June 1980 when he was shot. Um, more recently, I was the Uber driver taking HP and his wife Fia into, back to Smokeshell together with his uh, platoon leader, Paul Lowe, where we discovered the site where their rifle burnt out. Um, and yeah, and we had some discussions in terms of fundraising, but I'm going to hand you over to uh, Nikki Dixon. Nikki is uh, busy with a PhD specifically uh, focused on the smoke shoal battle and she was with us on the tour to Angola and to the smoke shoal site. Thanks, thanks Andrew. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm Nikki and um, part of my, my research, one of the main focuses of, of my research was to be able to go back to Angola um, with some of the, the border war veterans and I was able to do that in, in July of, of this year. Um, and so met Andrew, um, I'd spoken to Andrew before, but met HP and Fear and Paul Lowe um, and some of the other guys from um, Operation Skeptic on the tour. Um, and I really I had the real privilege of, of walking back to that site with um, HP um, and Paul and, and Andrew um, to to the site that, that still um, has this burnt out, the scorched soil, burnt out rectangle of sand on which nothing grows today. Um, and I think that that was quite um, goosebump stuff for, for, for me to, to be able to, to experience that. And walk back with them as, as they kind of reminisced about where they would have been sitting and picked up the pieces of, of shrapnel and metal that still um, lies there today. Um, and, and that was really moving to see um, HP and Paul particularly um, become really emotional um, about being back on the site where so much changed for them. Um, and afterwards, um, getting back to our campsite um, on the 9th of June, after, afterwards preparing for the memorial service on, on, the, on the next day, um, Fia, um, HP's wife, um, was cleaning out his his wound as as she has been needed to do for the last forty two years forty years, um, and I asked if permission to to see it, um, and was really horrified that the the hole at the base of his spine at, at that time um, could almost still fit my fist in into it, um, could see the bone and. And I know the extent of his internal injuries from, from being shot. Um, and, and Andrew and myself just spoke afterwards about there must be something that can be done to, 
to rectify this. Um, medical science, 42 years later, has really um, improved. And um, yeah, so, so that I think was, was the impetus for um, wanting to start some kind of funding, backer buddy funding, um, to, to find ways, if, if, if we can get HP to um, one of the best specialists in South Africa who can have a look and can say, well, this can be done. Um, that's that's the objective, really. Um, but in so doing as well is also to recognize that HP um, is is a is a driving force behind this, but he's not the only person, the only veteran struggling um, perhaps with other physical injuries and and mental injuries as well. So it's it's about starting with with HP and trying to to find some assistance, medical assistance for him. But it's not going to stop with HP. You know, it's it's about creating a a wider awareness of some of the the ailments and the physical um, injuries that some of our veterans still live with. Um, so that's that's kind of the the driving force behind it. Ja, goeie dag. Ach, dit is vir my een wonderlijke voorreg. Vandag het ek al sê 42 jaar later in een paar maande. Um, Ja, my story begin maar uh, ook wel opgegroeid in Zuid-Afrika as een boerenseen en na school, uh, vroeg in school het, uh, waar in die technische richting gaan, um, Ami toe, verdink ek my, my ambacht twee jaar vinniger maak, maar toe vir die Ami drie jaar meer as wat ek gedink het, so, uh, toe is ek bieke in die hospitaal, ja, um, in 10 juni 1980 toes was ons bezig met operatie smokesheel, uh, die, die, die kleine die, uh, deel wat ons bij was smokesheel genoemd, groot operatie skeptiek. En uh, daar was ek saam met Paul Lowe, was my leutenant geweest, en uh, ons het die aangeval gedoen daar die dag. En ja, dit, die ding het basis baie vinnig gebeur. Uh, Ons het aangeval, hulle het ons geskiet, ons het omgedraai in die target, ons is weer terug en toe het ons uitgeskiet, my raad het uitgeskiet, uitgebrand. En uh, ek, het, ek was buitenkant gewees en ek is toen nou weer voor 45 ingekom en daar het geval en dit was die laaste sien. Ek het nie geweet wat my keer my, ek het net gevoel ek brand, ek brand uit, jy weet, en dit is een warm eister wat hier dier my maag gedrukt is, wat het, en jy proe, en jy, jy proe die, 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 die smaak, en jy krij die uh, vrees van dood, krij jy, maar jy weet ook jy wat gaan aan op die stadium nie. En uh, gelukkig het Paul Lou my gesien leed aan, hy het my in die medische raad rond gegooi om my lyk te spaar. Uh, so dat jy weet, laat, um, men, hy was maar wat lyk doen, hy het het allemaal gedoen, jy weet, beste vir allemaal wat gehad het, en uh, so het ek gelukkig die voorheer gehad, laat Alles het een plek geval, die chopper kon inkom, my te kom laai, um, ek en, ek en, ek kan nie om, daar was die ouse naam, nou my en die wat, is van die eerste ons wat gelaai is, en ons is uitgevat, en dan na die chopper gesikkel om in te kom, om weer ons te kom laai, toe, toe, toe is die lacha weer vier te kwaai op hulle gewees. En toe het ek in ons die kaart, het, het hulle my gestabiliseer, hulle het my in, in Grootfontein gestabiliseer, en toe het hulle my afgevoer, uh, een militaire hospitaal toe, Ek is ook sommer met via Chopper, is ek gelig om water te loof en ek is ingevlieg tot by Wanmo en um, ja, daar die preet begin is, 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 uh, uh, um, uh, selfie geweet, ek is daar nie, maar eerst vir 7 of 8 dagen later, ek was 7, ek is nou in die hospitaal, toe word ek wakker en um, vir my maal is gesê, daar is so die lichte, dat ek het die lichte vleeswond opgedoen, en om nie waar hy nie, maar om Pretoria toe gaan, en uh, toe hulle daar kom, toe ek in die coma, en hulle het nooit geweet, ek gaan eerst drie jaar later, die, eerst rarig ontslaan word nie. Um, ek is in die hospitaal gewees, um, ja, moeilike tyde, moeilike tyde en lekker tyde, um, weet ek het nou weer een, ons het onlangs een verlost nie meer gekry, maar toe ek my kon wakker word, en ek sien ek het hierdie saakie, en my lijf het ek nie weet wat is dit nie, ek het nie weet om het hanteer nie, en goed ek besef dat, as ek die saakie kan gebruik, om my ander mense te wees hoe werk hy, dan gaan dit my nie meer plan nie, en dit het ek gedoen daardoor, om, om die 
aan die ons, en ons betaal het wel, as reden baie mense wat op baie staan op sakjes gehad het, hulle het voorlichting te gee, en sê man, jy plak ons so vast, en jy doen dit, en jy doen dat, en daar het my ding gekom van, mens moet net probeer, het maak jy sak hoe syk is jy, of jy in die reisstoel is het, of jy nie kan loop nie, om iemand te help, um, maar dit was een moeilike, moeilike jaar, rechtig, baie moeilike jaar, ek het, ek het verskrikkelijk baie operaties gehad, ek dink, ek was op 49, toe ek ontslaan is in die hospitaal, het operaties, en, uh, toe sê ek uit die AMI 8, toe sê ek uit die hospitaal ontslaan, maar ek was toe uit die stadium daarom op Weermacht pensioen gewees, en ek is ontslaan uit die, uit die hospitaal het, en, uh, ewe skielig moet ek nou, my leven begin, maar hoe, waar? Ek is, uh, daar staan hem so, ach, seker 50 kilogram geweeg. Ek was, uh, nogal, ek het 89 geweeg, toe ek die weermacht was, maar ek was uitgeteer geweest, en ek was maar, en ek het nie spiermassa gehad, nie, jy weet, is van die lang le, en baie medikasie gebruik, en so. So, ja, toe sê, toe sê ek ontslaan het die weermacht uit, ach, uit die hospitaal uit, en, uh, Toe begin die rarige lewe, wat nie lekker was nie. Want waar begin ek? Ek wil my ambag gaan loop het, maar ek kon nie meer nie. Um, en uh, net sê ek voordat het ek my, my vrou ontmoet in Bloefontein, sy was een, een nursie, sy het geleerd vir een nurse die, die tyd, en ek het een naal ek vaak om keier, en uh, ek moes die maandag terug gaan teen is en toe wat so 100 kilos van Bloefontein af is, en ek besluit, ek gaan, en, want, uh, toe sê ek nou al, sê ek is door, vijf maanden uit ons betaal het, ek moet een werk gaan soek, en iemand sê vir my van, uh, geneersvarma wat, um, ek moet gaan nader, en ek het by die ouwe stap, en dis die eerste ouwe, nou moet ek besef, ek het standaard acht, ek is in die school, maar ek het wiskunde, en technische teken, en theorie factie, het ek van my skynings maak, my geskiedenis, wat jy nie eens weet wat as die presentatie, want ek het dit nie geleer nie, want is, op daar staan was dit nie vir my belangrijk nie. Iets wat vir my belangrijk was, was iets wat ek fysisch vir myself kon uitwerk. En uh, ek het nie oom en gesk, ek het in my al my story van vertel. Ek is geskiet op die grens, en, 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 sy sê, het daar is hy aan die kantoor begin huil, en, uh, toe sê hy, dit klink my, sy sê, ek moet jou aanstel die toe hy nou oor sy huil, en toe ek daar begin werk, is het tekenaar wat ek kon skaars loop, ek het, ek het zwaar geloop, ek was, daar is daar nie maar allemaal baie zwaar. Toe ek opgewerkt tot er op een uh, stadium as een surveyor, en, ja, dit het redelijk goed gaan op die stadium, uh, uh, mens het uh, die drijfkracht gehad, om jy met die wist in die lewe kom, en uh, ek het vier jaar toe getrind op die ouwe en na twee jaar, um, want ek het vaar uh, die aand wat ons nog by die Roudiaus gewees het, die eerste aand wat ek al gesien het, het ek al ge- aan die hand gevat, en uh, jy weet, ek het nooit een meisje gehad voor dit nie, en ek het sê ek maar met jou gaan getrouw, en toe lag sy vir my, en twee jaar later, toe is ons getrouwd, 38 jaar is ons nog steeds by mekaar, so, <laughs> ons, uh, uh, ek moes net een nurse kry, want anders toe was ek al dood gewees. En so het is via die pad saam my gestap, wat nie een makkelijke pad was nie ons. Ek het gewerk en uh, toe was 90, 92, 93, 93, met die werk geval, my rasseer gemaakt en dis ek vir die tweede keer medisch geraad en dat sê ek nou nooit weer werk my leven. Uh, nou het jy twee klein kinderkies Jy het een huis, wat jy moet betaal, jy, jy het ander goed wat betaal, hoe maak jy nou? En, jy weet jy, ek het op huis daar nie met, ek, uh, toe klomp rug operaties na mekaar gehad, want ek het penne gehad wat gebreek het, en, um, die, 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 die feit dat my, 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 my sakrum uitgeskiet is, uh, my stuikie weg is, het gemaakt dat ek my rug swak, swak, swak kont gehad het en toe het my recht werels nou maar met tyd afgesak, en toe ek nou seer maak, toe is dus domino's in my recht. So, toe het ek nou hele tom brugoperaties gehad, ek het baie keer in theater gewees vir pijnstimulators, 
en, 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 nog een stadium toe terug sê, hulle kan glad nie meer vir my, hulle sit my nou op die sterfse pijngoed wat daar is, en, en, so dat ek nou die pijngoed het, toe gehaal vir die pijn, laat het weggaan, en toe besef ek, maar ek nou nie meer pijn, ek kan nou ons maar weer aangaan in die weg, toe gaan ek maar weer aan, en, vir 10 jaar het ek so aangegaan, maar toe, eindig ek moet 10 ampilis a dag, nou, nou, die 10 ampilis kan jy skaars, die werk wat ek uit terug, is nie genoeg om die 10 ampilis te betaal. So toe raak het nou die snowball van, 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 van dit. En ek is toe nou, het die Heere my geseen, en, en, ek was in die Gere gewees, en, is vir my daar gebid, en, van hy dag nog nooit weer een spuit toe gebruik, en die pijn was toe weg. So toe, maar ek het ook nie onttrek van die inspuitings nie, en dis die wonderwerk van die story, dat ek het nooit onttrek na 10 jaar van die hoeveel inspuitings een dag nie, maar dokters het nie raad gehad, en ek het teruggekom, moet ek dink 6 pakkies nog, om nog om, en ek het ook terugkom van daar, toe keer vir die dokter, sê die dokter, ek is klaar met die inspuitings, die pijn wat ek nou het, sal ek hanteer, en ja, en daarna het het ook, Tomp die jare daarna, toe het weer begin slecht aan my wond, toe het het groter geraak en groter geraak, en die wond is nou vir 10 jaar wat hy groot gehad is, my rug. En, en, maar ons het echt maar so aangegaan, maar so 2 jaar terug, net so voor kou het, het ek besef, ek kan nou nie meer met hierdie wond so aangaan nie, want, want, jy weet, het is, 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 die pijn raak net te ondraag, want jy kan net soveel, een mens is gemaakt net vir soveel, en ek is vir een positieve persoon, ek kan, ek kan, kan sê ek haar negativiteit, want ek meng my nie met negatieve ons nie, want ek trek jy onder toe, ek moet die hele tyd positief wees, en ek moet positieve reacties uitsloon, en ek moet een positieve mens probeer wees elke dag, maar dit is nie elke dag moendlik, dit is nie makkelijk, om, om, om een smile op te sit, as jy seer het nie. Maar ja, ons kom maar dier, ons gaan daar dier, en dankse via, is, is, maak sy dit vir my so vermakelijk, jy weet sy, vir 10 jaar nou al, doen sy elke oog in my wond, sy doen elke aand my wond, nie een keer klaar nie, het vat daar, sy werk van al 7 af in die oog, is sy sister, dan kom sy eerst van die hand af, af in die huis, en om die wond te doen, vat daar half uur in die oog, en daar half uur in die aand, So elke dag vir die laatste 10 jaar het sy eers van die net op om my wond skoon te maak, never mind, te staan naast my syk bed, te rui na my syk bed toe. So ja, dit was vir ons nie een makkelike pad nie. In die sins van, ons het ook maar zwaar gekry en en maar ons het goeie lewe gehad, ons het altyd iets gehad om te eet nie van die beste schaad nie, maar ons het altyd iets gehad. En ons het twee kinders, wat geboren is uit die huwelik, hulle bly nog steeds by ons op die plot, ons het ek het een plot gekry waar my kinders en my familie by my naaste by my is, en so ja, en weet jy die Angola toer het vir my so baie, baie beteken. Daar had ek eerst besef dat wie ek werkelijk is, waar, waar, want allemaal het vir my gevra, die, die, ouwens in die privaat sektor, wat wil jy daar gaan maak, is jy mal in jou kop, sê ek nie, los my net uit, ek sal jylle kom sê as ek terugkom, en die feit dat ek daar op smokseel, op die terrein gestaan het, en ek het daar, die gevoel van, die doodsangel, die doodsvrees, op my plek gekry, en toe weet ek, dit is net, hierdie keer is dit net een gevoel, hierdie keer is dit, of die heren my troos, en vir my sê, hapie, gaan aan, het die job om te doen, praat met mense, oor hierdie goede, en, en, weet jy, ek is, ek het sê, so in 2000, het ek begin met ons praat, ek het nooit voor het gepraat van, van, van oorlog nie. En toe het ek achterkom, wat dit helpt vir my vreselijk baie. En toe het ek so met die mense begin praat, en met hulle begin praat, en ek het nou na die hele groep by mekaar na het kontrek, om met ons by te praat. En ek geloof vandag, dat die beste medicijne, 
vir die oud soldaat is om te praat met die makker langsom. En die beste medicijne is om te heil. Ga na die plek toe, breek jou hart oop en heil jou skoon, was jou van die pijn af. So ja, dit is, dit is uh, 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 my kort en lang story uh, wat ek weer het, ek het baie operaties gehad, ek het, uh, jylle praat over van 100, maar ek het die rechte getal, ek sta nou eindelijk op 96 narkosis, van maart van verdede jaar af tot, tot nou toe het ek 10 operaties gehad, um, en uh, waarvan uh, een operatie groot mislik nou was, wat ek, waar hulle my derde maar afgesnui het, ek weer een sakkie moest kry, en Die probleem op die stadium het die dokter die daarom raak gesnui wat die koel deur is, op die selfde spot. En uh, ek het gesien aan die dokters in Bloemfontein, hulle skid het hulle kop, hulle weet nie meer wat ek kan doen nie. Hulle, hulle weet nie wat om te doen nie, hulle weet nie. Jy kan sien en hy wil help, maar hy hy, hy, hy wil ook nie vir jou negatieve uh, en kort geen, hy wil jou graag help. Maar ek, ek het gesien, hulle kan nie meer, hulle verstaan nie meer, want, dit is baie die kaart, my anders was dit, ek moet afgeskiet, twee derde is van my ding, en dit derde is verweider, uh, my sitbeen is af, my blaas neerpijpe was afgeskiet, um, ek sit nou van verlede jaar af, en ek nie van die begin van hierdie jaar, van die eerste operatie hierdie jaar af, ek vat nie meer gevoel oor my blaas nie, ek weet nie, uh, wanneer gaan my blaas nie, ek weet nie hoe, ek, hy gaan nooit nie, as ek nie gaan staan, en ek begin verskrikkelijke pijn net te kry, dan weet ek my blaas is vol, maar ek kry nie glad nie boelte om met die water nie, um, my maag sal nie bloei die laas terug, so ja, dit gaan op die restaurant, ek sal nie sê sleg nie, dit is nie meer, dit is nie maar net een bykie bad, die, 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 uh, maar my geest is goed, ek is gereed om nog te vecht, Maar ja, is, is, ek wil graag, sal ek wil hee, my story moet uitgaan na mense toe. En, en, ja, dit maak ook bykie, bykie hartseer, om te dink, ek kan ook vir iemand iets beteken, ek wil graag, rechtig, uit my hart uit wil ek graag vir mense help. Waar hulle kan die help, en hoe lang hulle kan help, weet ek nie, maar ek is daar, en, en, ek hoop, hulle kan staat maak op my, uh, want ek het verskrikkelijke ondersteuning van my, smaak sal ons af, en ja, dit is vir my wonderlik, dat daar soveel oud soldaat is, wat omgeef vir mekaar, en ek sal my story graag wil het hoor, ek weet nie, jy verveel, vraag, vraag, my vrou nie, um, of sy daar vir jou ietsie kan sê wat, wat wil jy graag weet van ons nie Folk, I'm gonna switch to English here, this is I don't know how to control yeah. my emotions at this point in time Tia uh, uh, Stoere boere vrou dis al <laughs> wat my kop vir my vertel Sorry as ek een bykie humor hier inbring. Uh, yes. Like. My haare staan nog steeds. Uh, ek wil nie vraag vraag nie. Uh, al wat ek wil doen, is, kan jylle vir ons opsom, een klein opsomminkie op Engels, asjeblief. Dat die, die rest van die wereld wat kyk, dat hulle the, the rest of the world, we'd like them to get a, just a glimpse of what you told us now in Afrikaans. Uh, if, what a story. What a story of courage and hope. And that's the story that HP, Ferreira and Thea are telling us here. And Nikki and Andrew in the background and the whole 6-1 um, organization. I've spoken with uh, quite a few of the 6-1 MEC uh, leadership group of the Veterans Association to set this up 
And all I'm getting, folk, all I'm getting is positivity and let's help HP Ferreira. So that's what it's for me. So if you can give us a tiny little snippet of what you told us in English so that we can include it. Please, sir. Yeah, thank you. Good morning to all the uh, people of English. Also, my English is not so good, but I will try and uh, tell my story. I was uh, in the South African War in 1980. Uh, with the infantry uh, battalion. So we became the MAC infantry in 1980 on the border, uh, uh, the border war against uh, in Angola. And uh, so fortunately we have an ops, ops smart shell. And I was in that ops uh, with my troop commander, Paul Lowe. And uh, we went into a, a, a base with four rattles. Um, we go through the base and we, we draw some fire from the side and we turn around and we decide to go back. And as we go back, um, I think most of the people know California story also, but uh, as we go back, my rattle, they hit my rattle. Somewhere on the back, it start uh, burning. My rattle start burning out, and I immediately stopped when I saw it burning. And I opened the doors, and the guys jumping out. The one guy was was he was dead. Uh, I tried to 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 throw him out, uh, but if, um, I immediately opened the doors, and I tried to get out of. I tried to get out of the rattle and uh, that's on top of my, my on top of me was, was the, I was the driver of the vehicle. And uh, so I, I, I get into the turret from the front and try to, uh, to, to get a, the, the turret out of the, on this day the, the, the ammunition in the back was going mad and I uh, opened my hatch and I one step and I was on the ground and without the rifle of anything. And Paul showed me we must stand up and go. And uh, as I stand up, I saw he say about something about the uh, 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 anti of gun. But and as I stand up, it was next to me. I don't know ten. 50 meters from me and I I could see the guy and could see the turret is on me and then something happened to me. So um, I was lying on the ground and uh, my my dry uh, my 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 crew uh, commander Powell after a while he saw me laying uh, there and there was a rock uh, medical rock coming through. And he just threw me, he and my gunner threw me into the uh, uh, rattle as a, as a body. And uh, fortunately, uh, on that stage, they wait for the chopper. The chopper there wasn't a long time. The chopper came, picked me up, and I was in, in uh, Oshikati and then in Kulatfontein. And I make it, but on, 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 on site, um, the doctor told Honor of the Penar, he won't make it, he's dead. And fortunately, they, they I don't know if they give me whiskey or something, but I, I'm still alive. So, at that stage, I, I pulled through. After after seven days I, in hospital, I wake up, I saw my father, I saw the white linen and doctors, and, and that I was very. Don't know where, where I was, but I was on that stage, I was in a bad stage. And I spent, I think, two months in, 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 in intensive care. And uh, so they can do all the necessary steps to, to, to put all the stuff together because from the, I was shot from the front back out of my, 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 my toxics and 
you know where that bullet go out? There was nothing. There was a hole. As big as you can put your fist in and you can put your fingers in front out. And so I was more and less every day in, 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 in theater in the, to the, so that I can close every day a bit and a bit and a bit. Uh, on the front, I haven't got stitches that space. I've got nips so they can open and close, open and close. But after a while, they fix me up and I uh, go stronger. And, and, and so, yeah, that was the story in the hospital. I was three years in the hospital and came out and uh, I was in service street. Um, and that's like what 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 was bad for me. I tried to get job in the army, a peace job, because I don't know nothing about anything else except the the army for five years now. And uh, they told me, "No, you you too, you're a G four K for you can't work anymore for us." And uh, so that was a bad thing for me because. They put me in that mistake. They could have given me a barman job or anything, not that I expect. But yeah, and so I must start on my own. And and uh, it was a very very hard journey. But I pulled through. I worked myself up uh, as a surveyor in a company starting as a. As a, a, a uh, plan a guy uh, putting up plans, but after a while I tried to do surveying and I worked myself up. And so I got another job uh, with, with a house allowance. And then later on there was a guy looking for me and he gave me a better job because he see I want to do something in my life. And uh, so yeah, and fortunately after a few years I fall in a manual had a job and I hurt my back and my legs were lame and so they took me to hospital and then the board doctor said they must board me and uh, yeah so and then it was a 10 years of of can uh, you know, tell with the injections difficult time yeah it was a difficult time I used injections for 10 years and but in that 10 years I still try to work because I jack myself, work for two hours, and jack myself, work for two hours. When there's no pain, you can go on. But that space, I was busy to put strength on everything. And nowadays, I can feel it. It, it, it was a bad to do that. But yeah, the last last year, I was, uh, the doctor tried to close the, the hole in my back, and fortunately, they also was something wrong and it got a big hole and uh, it took nearly a year. And so I go to another doctor, he tries, uh, uh, what you call plastic it? Surgeon. Plastic surgeon. He tried to close it up and he pulled some muscle out of my hip and uh, do a lot of stuff, but the operation was not successful because he cut my guts and um, so yeah, I've got the hole now there in the place where I was wounded and uh, got a colostomy. And the colostomy is not a problem. It's, it's, it's uh, um, the pain in my stomach and the pain in the wound on the stage. And yeah, I don't know if doctors here in a free state or where can somebody help me? Because I need help now, and I I I I, I need it urgent because it's, it's I can feel it. It's starting to get me near uh, um, places where I want to withdraw, and I was never a guy who withdraws from anything, not even from from a job. I worked much through in my life, and and and, but. If a guy is starting to want to sit on his own and want to be quiet and don't want to answer his phone, then it becomes a problem. 
there's something wrong. And some days I feel like that. So, yeah. Um, but when my smoke shell guys is here, I'm alive again. And, and so, yeah. And with this, uh, I'm so glad that there is people and guys like you guys who want to use my uh, story. And I hopefully can help people because there's a lot of soldiers, not even in South Africa, the whole world. Soldiers struggling with problems after they serve their countries. And uh, because war is a, is a difficult thing, uh, you can give everything you got, but if they is something wrong afterwards, they will just and you slightly start and they question you out because you tell them they don't hear from you and they give you bad information so you don't phone them again. So it wasn't for the six one guys. And our group here in Bluefontein, Matia guys, uh, I think Sit One is a big organization now. And, and so, yeah, uh, it wasn't for them. I think I was long ago, uh, uh, not my year, because I was, when I talked the first time to another guy who was with me in, in, in the war. Then my healing begins. So if my story can heal just one guy in the world, I will be proud. And uh, yeah, uh, I think Fia can just give her a small talk in Afrikaans because she's not. Um, so yeah, still you must have begin it, but yeah, you want to find it. Um, now, all that I want to say that you can't go through all these troubles with our God. That's all that I want to say. Yeah, and that, then I think that is the most important that she see. Because my story is a story how much I'm blessed. It's God's hand every day with me. And every night, me and Fia go to sleep, Take hands, pray. Never in 38 years was angry with each other. But I believe that that there is a higher hand over us and looking for us. And, and he will help as long as we listen. And that is my story. Yeah, folk. What a story. Thank you all two of you that you have shared with us for our global audience. Thank you. It's a terrific story. And while HP was telling his story, Afrikaans version, because it's his natural, easy language for him to speak, I sat here with lots of memories flashing through my head and I went good golly gosh and I think I have a right to complain no it's about gratitude it's about hope positivity and as HB says it's about helping others I've spoken way more than enough I would like um, for Andrew and Nikki to sum up for us if they want to if they don't want to then we'll uh, cut over here Maar ek wil nie loop tot ek vir julle twee daar wat vir my sit en kyk nou sê yes, God's blessing, God's grace, God's everything good to the two of you. Kom mense, kom ons help asjeblief. Kom ons help. We need to help because if HP gets the help, he can help others, him and Thea. That's their role in life, is to help others now, to lead the path, to open up the path. 
for others. Donkey, thank you. I cannot, I cannot say any more how grateful we are to you veterans for serving your country and then your country not really serving you back, is it? But yet you've come through that and your, your positivity, um, it's a shining light, it's a beacon, donkey. As, uh, if, you, if you all want to do a group for us to end off or whatever you want to do, that's so fantastic. I think for C, it's, it's when you hear stories of such courage and resilience despite adversity, um, it, it, really, it really touches deep. Um, and I think that's, that's one of the reasons why, for, for me, it, it's so important to be involved in, um, in trying to try to raise awareness to what some of our war veterans still live with. Thank you, folk. Bye bye, donkey. Um, this was meant to come together, uh, and this will go out. Uh, the four of you and your family there in the background. What a fantastic positive stuff. Uh, as we always say here at Legacy Conversations, until we meet again, God bless. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Good morning again, and uh, thanks for listening to the, the conversation up to now. Um, just to end off, um, it's very important to us that we raise as much funding as possible uh, through the Backer Buddy. The link will be displayed on the screen. Um, any money raised is going to be used for the improved lifestyles, um, medical financial of our veterans in need and i'm going to just hand over to nikki to to give a final word thank you thanks andrew um maybe just in in offering some some thoughts in closing i i think what really struck me whilst i was in angola is a thought about the conscription generation almost how, how some some soldiers some people have been able to to move through their experiences and almost sort of assimilate the stories of those experiences into their lives and then there are those such as hp and and others who who through traumatic injuries of both body mind and soul actually have never totally been able to move on and so for me, and, and I think I speak for Andrew as well, when we were talking about ways that we could assist HP as the first person, the purpose of this Backer Buddy Fund is, is kind of threefold. Um, on the one hand, it's to assist veterans like HP with access to top class medical care for whatever the, the traumatic injury is. Secondly, it really is about offering dignity to, the, to these veterans and their families. And then thirdly, it, it's about honoring and remembering almost a living sacrifice that soldiers like HP made 40, 40 plus years ago. And they continue to make a sacrifice for us today. And so there's almost a sense of, 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 of owing them better. They, they deserve better. Um, so please click click on the, the link, um, which is going to come up in the comments, um, click on the link, which is in the, in, in the video, and, and just donate something, uh, something small, whether it's the cost of a pizza or a bottle of wine or a magazine for a week, just, just please donate to this really worthy cause. <laughs>